Thank you, Speaker. Over the last nearly eight years, every time that I have stood up in this chamber to speak about the destruction of our forests, our koala habitat or our environment, I have heard the Liberals and the Nationals on the other side yell out all sorts of offensive remarks, insinuating that I do not have a right to talk about these things because we don't have forests or koalas in the electorate of Newtown. I want to be clear. The people of Newtown care deeply about our environment. We might not have beaches, but we absolutely love them, and we care very deeply about the plastics that are polluting our ocean. We might not have native forests, but we don't want them logged, and we are committed to ensuring koalas and native animals are protected from extinction. That's right, we may not have beaches and oceans or forests and national parks in our electorate in the inner city, but we do care about the devastation of them and the impact that government decisions are having in destroying them. People in our local community care deeply about what is happening across the state, across the country and across the world. Our community cares when we see mega environmental destruction of massive wildfires in California and flooding in Pakistan. And while we haven't had floods or fires in our communities, we care that regional and rural communities are suffering and we have felt the grief that is impacted on our loved ones who live in those communities. Gas and coal mines, logging and land clearing are threatening our water, our climate, our environment and our future, our earth. Our communities know that this climate destruction and devastation is driven by dodgy corporations and coal and gas executives who are profiting from the destruction of our planet and the extinction of our native animals. We also know that so much of this devastation is also linked to colonisation and invasion. There is no environmental justice without racial justice. Our community sees that devastation and the impact that it has on people and on country, and it causes us great anxiety and stress. It is a disgrace that the Labor and Liberal parties take millions in donations from coal and gas billionaires and big corporations while continuing to approve and enable climate bombs in the form of coal and gas mines, as well as fast-tracking land clearing that could push koalas to extinction. These actions fuel the climate crisis and threaten the safety of people, our health, our water, our ability to grow food and the air that we breathe. But we can stop this downward spiral into environmental destruction that is further fueling massive economic inequality, social insecurity in our communities. <laughs> It's why our community is doing our bit to tackle the crisis head on, globally, locally, individually, and collectively. Many founding members of the School for um, Strike for Climate went to, our first, um, went to school in the electorate of Newtown, demanding protection for our futures, First Nations land and environment. They've inspired tens of thousands of others to take to the streets. And many people who live in the electorate of Newtown are members and active members of organisations like the Nature Conservation Council, Land Care and Surf Life Saving as well as many other local community groups, all of whom make a contribution to making our communities and our environment a cleaner, greener, safer, healthier and more sustainable place to live. The people in the electorate of Newtown do their bit every single day by using keep cups, reusable bags, switching energy providers, installing solar, recycling, eating ethically, as well as cycling and catching public transport. Our community is doing our part, but we also know, know that individual action is not enough. It never will be. Governments, corporations, and billionaires who aid, abet, and profit off the climate crisis are letting us down. We need a total overhaul of the structures and the system if we are going to seriously tackle the climate crisis and the extinction crisis head on. This means ending coal and gas, rapidly shifting to renewable energy, putting an end to the billions in tax subsidies and special treatment to big coal, oil and gas corporations, and making wealthy coal corporations pay the price to compensate communities for the climate crisis that they knowingly fueled. We can and we must end the destruction of our forests that our koalas, our threatened species and our wildlife live in and are dependent on. The Greens are the only party in this place that are serious about protecting the environment, our climate and our future. I thank the people of the electorate of Newtown for the honour of representing them and representing all of our care of our planet and the people that live in it. <laughs>